Here by Zenith Wizard here, and um, today I just wanted to make a few announcements. First of all, last night I apologized for not having any commentary in the Gateway Essential running Windows 2000 video because my throat was killing me and it still is, so it's kind of hard to talk when making this. But um, anyways, I want to make a few announcements. Episode 9 is no longer available because of personal reasons. Um, I'm not going to say specifically, but it's personal. So, um, I hugely apologize. Uh, I still have it on my computer, but um, I'm probably going to delete it soon. It's nothing really that interesting. It was just me and my friend at lunch being stupid. But, um, anyways, guys, it's no longer available, as I was saying. Sorry about that. But, um, anyways, my throat's still scratchy. And the reason I don't really get to make much content on the week, like Monday through Friday, is because of having a lot of homework because last night I had like 60 math problems and had to read a book so yeah um, by the way here's the IBM computer that was featured in episode 47 I think washing the motherboard tutorial and um, I figured out that this computer is an IBM well, what's left it's an IBM 3d6 PC not PC PS1 um, to 2133 um, <coughs> this unit I'm probably not gonna keep it the case is completely gone on it that's why it's just bare metal it's similar to my IBM PS value point 425 SX that I had in 2012 and 2013 um, PS1 floppy drive um, there's nothing really left in it it's just the lights for the front motherboard um, card reader thingy I got my bobber out there floppy drive and this cover the five and a quarter inch floppy drive I'm good and I stole the power supply out of it for the compact Presario 2200 but um there's not much to be said here just a few updates and y'all seen these in a few of my videos my neighbor gave these to me, um, these three Dells, but um, I scrapped them out for parts, and I'm not going to use them in videos. There's just bare cases now, except for those C drives and this one right here. They're pretty worthless and crappy, so. And the reason this one looks so bad is because it, I was working on it, and right when I got done, it had a little tumble off of the table, so a bunch of plastic and stuff fell out of it. Out of those computers, I got a 1 gigahertz Pentium 3, which is right there. I just accidentally picked up the 800 megahertz one. And a 1 gigahertz Celeron. So maybe I can make some use out of those in the future. Um, I have any just popped. Um, yeah. Power Macintosh 4400 still out and about over here. And um, as y'all fault as if you follow my surviving 2016 Instagram page, then you'll see you've seen that a compact desk pro en from my eye doctor may be featured in tomorrow's episode because they may be giving it to me because they've been meaning to get rid of it for a few years now. But I'm not gonna give any more spoilers. But anyways, um, there's not a whole lot going on as I said a hundred times. Um, as uh, y'all may have seen in the comments, replies to um, Panther11 YouTuber, I replied to him. Uh, he asked me if I got the other monitor from the thrift store. Said I hope that I do before somebody else gets it, because the first one that I got did not work. That Gateway EV700 monitor, and yes, I did get the other one, and it works great, great picture and everything. Not a single thing wrong with it, other than I can't put the first one stand on it because it's one year older. Um, not to mention, this is one of my first computers, my first vintage computers ever, other than the Ruby iMac One. I got the Ruby iMac One and the this eMac at the same time. This eMac doesn't have any of the original parts except for the um, hard drive and. Maybe RAM, I think, but um, I got this 
in 2012 with the Ruby on G3 from the same thrift store, same day. Um, not the original motherboard because the original motherboard had a dial-up port on it. This is the original case because it has the, um, hang on, get my camera to focus. Um, number up there they use for identifying machines in schools. I put that Apple sticker on there. And this drive cover is not original because it's got the specs that are in it right now. But, um, as the original 80 gigabyte hard drive. But, um, as I said, it was rebuilt, so none of the original parts except for the hard drive. Um, all my beige Macs are over here, including my Apple Newton message pad. It does work, but, um, half of the screen's gone out. So you have to mess with the brightness so you can see everything else. And, um, <clears throat> yeah. So there's just a few updates. And tomorrow's episode will probably be way better than what you just watched. And I'm going to try and prevent episodes from being taken off in the future. Um, yeah. Just personal reasons that episode 9 got removed. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say more about it. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Bye.